other thing to do during these days as you're seeking forgiveness of Allah, forgive others. Find it in your heart to develop a good relationship with others. Go out and mend relationships with your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, your nephews, your cousins, your parents, perhaps grandparents, in-laws, whoever it may be. Go out and mend relationships. Mending relationships is definitely a great act of worship. And Allah mentions it many times in the Quran. So my brothers and sisters, while we are seeking the forgiveness of Allah, there is a greater chance if we were to forgive others that Allah will forgive us. Surah Allah tells us, would you not like Allah to forgive you? Well then forgive others and embrace them. Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. So that verse teaches us, yes, forgive others. Sometimes if a person is not remorseful and they have wronged you, you may want to forgive them, but not interact so much with them simply because you don't want to be bitten from the same direction twice. And you're a believer. لا يلدغ المؤمن من جحر واحد مرتين. A believer is never bitten from the same source twice. So remember, you may want to forgive someone, but if they're not remorseful, you don't have to embrace. You don't have to actually, you know, return to the relationship you were in the past. But in your heart, you don't hold the burden. You've forgiven them. You've let it go. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. I pray that these 10 days change us for the better. Make us more conscious of everything we do. Make us more conscious of our relationship with Allah. Improve on things. Don't go back. Improve on things, don't go back. And if you've gone back, come back. Allah loves you. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Qur'an wa sunnah wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihima min al-ayati wal hikmah wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.